Hello guys, I'm the Catfish, and welcome to my let's play of a puzzle game that's quite dear to me. Um, I've got all the information here, so I'll read that out to you quickly. Um, it's about, f it's 30 years old, I'm muting that. It's 30 years old this year, so it's quite nostalgic. Um, so I wasn't around when it came out, but uh, my parents were, they played it. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a good puzzle game, it's got quite good graphics, um, it's run on real life, so, you know, um, yeah, the graphics are limited to six colours, so, you know, um, it's a Hungarian, it's from a Hungarian company, I mean, I say company, it was one guy at the time when they developed it, and he developed it in 1974, so it took him six years to develop the entire thing, and I'm sure you just got a glimpse of it then. And it's developed by Erna Rubik, and it was so good, he put his name on it. It's Rubik's Cube. I'm fairly certain most of you have played this before. I mean, who hasn't? It's one of the staple things of a nerd since the 80s. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to play this, and you can solve it yourselves. I'm not solving it now, I'm mixing it up now. That's part of the uh, fun. It's procedural. I mean, you build the challenge yourself. You mix it up. Hoo-ha. Um, yeah. <sighs> so, this is the Rubik's Cube. It's a cube. It's Each face is split into nine bits. Each of the nine bits can be the six colors, which have to be solved into the faces. Of course, I'm sure you know that. So, yeah, um, it's a good game. Very well made. They did... Mm, God. Hang on, I'm telling my friend this. Uh, I'm doing a uh, let's play. Uh, I want to know what his reaction is, but yeah, um, they did a sequel to this. Sorry, I just saw a bit too much mixed up. Uh, they did a sequel to this. It was Rubik Cube Four by Four by Four. It's uh, a bit harder, but uh, still the same pattern. I mean, there's one or two things in the same vein still the same pattern to go through. It's basically the same storyline, but with a few extra bits, and occasionally a secret level after the boss fight. Depends on your start. As I said, procedural con content. But yeah, um... Okay. Mmm, crap, I'm sorry guys, that probably blew out the audio. But yeah, let's get on and play Rubik's Cube. Um, I'm just gonna look at it first, uh, you know, just to find a good starting point, and I think I've found one. Most people know how to solve level 1, I mean, it's not too hard, no more than like, you know, Mario 1 or something, you know, everyone can do the first level, but it takes a genius to get it all done, I'm, I sound like I'm bragging now, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stop that, I'm a complete idiot who doesn't know anything apart from to do this, and it's good, because it means I can show off parties and things, because I have shown off. <sighs> Helps you get the ladies. And ladies? It really helps get the guys. I mean, if you're looking for a nerdy guy out there, all you need to do is learn how to do with this. There we go. Yeah, uh, level one done. See? One side done. That's usually level one. I mean, there are other ways to do it. You know, like... Like cheat codes. Like ways to get around. But yeah, that's uh, level one. I'm moving on to level two. Oh god. Why am I suddenly stumped? Seriously, this should not be hard. That's why it's because I'm an idiot. Um, see, I need to have a look at this thing. Um, uh, Deary me. Arr. Um, there are like... People who do speed runs, they do it on the internet, they do it in real life, I mean, the record right now is like 6 seconds, level 2, I think it's 6 seconds, I know the world average is 9.07 or something, so yeah, people are sad, I'm not even in their league, I mean, it's like, you know, most people are deterred by it, thinking it's really hard and stuff, but uh, 
It's no worse than Dwarf Fortress. I mean, do you remember how you were the first time you played it? If you ever played it, if you haven't played it, go out and play it, and then you'll know what I'm on about. I mean, this isn't a hard game compared to that. And there are tutorials for it, and this. I mean, I learned how to play this via the internet. There are some good tutorials out there, I mean, as with any game. There's no cheat codes, but there's a uh, very good strategy guides. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> I completely bypassed the boss fight. I did not... Oh, I'm happy about that. That's great. Seriously, I uh, I didn't mean to do that. That's brilliant. I was going to go level 3, but no, I managed to completely skip level 4 and all that. So, yeah. Um, that's a shock. Um, and I hope this is, this is the one that's actually captured the audio, because otherwise I'm going to be very pissed off that I just missed the best capture I've done tonight. So, yeah. Um... That was me playing Rubik's Cube. Um, sometime later I may move on to the next level. I mean, they did do an easier version for people. It's just the corners. I mean, you can turn this one into one of the easy ones, just by turning it back the middle. But, you know, that's how it goes. So, uh, uh, I'm the Catfish, and thank you for watching.